So we're on Mars again. We have a glass colony, we have underground nukes. There's nomads and one silicon patch for the nomads, and then we have free steel factions. So water could be a bit tricky this one. Because on nukes. Do I want to go robot here? I'm not sure. I mean, no nomad seems tier one. I would probably find a nomad right about now. Second so found, I don't know. Maybe robot just because of annoying water is. Or scientist, I guess. Scientist can't really get nuked, and. We can get rid of claims. I don't know. We'll see. We do see a, <coughs> a robot from Dragon Inventor finding on this iron patch. So he has everything somewhat nearby. But yeah, I'm not too happy about <coughs> aluminum and silicon. So yeah, I think slant drilling and carbon scrubbing would be great here because of nukes. I think early markets should be. Good. We'll see. What does he actually go for? He goes single iron to see Makes sense. And we have Dude founding as a. Uh, as a nomad. What can I even say about this? A robotics HQ has been upgraded. This is not how you play this game. At all. So, in case you ever watch this, dude. Reasons why this is not good. First of all, you could have found it wherever you wanted. You could have minimized shipping distances. Instead, you found that both your HQs next to no resources at all. Completely arbitrarily. What you should have done is found near the silicon patch, because you will need silicon to upgrade, and you will definitely need to upgrade. And your second HQ is somewhere else, probably near water and or aluminum. <coughs> Here? Maybe? I'm not sure exactly where. I can tell you where not to find. Which would be where you found it. And also, <clears throat> what you need to upgrade is aluminum, silicon electronics. And you are gathering aluminum, which is good. But, yeah, you need to mine silicon, basically. And this one single <coughs> greenhouse farm will not do anything for you. You always want to build these things in pairs, at least. Like Dragon Inventor is doing. Dragon Inventor, meanwhile, got issue 2, got a Geo, <coughs> and I cannot figure out where it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, he. And I got three claims, never mind. Yeah, so a third steel mill, which doesn't really make sense. A geo, which makes a lot of sense. And started mining carbon, I'm not sure why. So. What does he see? So I would be interested in going into glass because it's a glass colony and we saw this random glass shortage. So it's already doubled in price from the start of the game. So even though you don't need it to upgrade, you can just sell, sell the glass and then uh, go into the electronics. I would say the food is okay to go into too, but his opponent will never leave HQ1. His opponent is also making food, so it's a bit of a special game. Actually, I guess he will leave HQ1 at some point, it's just way too slow. So as a nomad, especially, you really need to focus on the upgrade resources. Oh boy, Dragonometer taking away silicon from him too. 
Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. How am I supposed to cast this? <laughs> How am I supposed to cast this? Help me, blues. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, take out the HG2. Let's see what it does. So, I definitely want to see a pair to this farm. So, a little lesson <clears throat> about the JSNC. When you put two buildings next to each other, they get an efficiency bonus, which means that their output is increased, but their input stays the same. So, putting two greenhouse farms next to each other. We produce as much as having three single greenhouse farms, and also use less water. And it's pretty much what you have to do to play this game. You never ever build these single buildings, because it's just way too inefficient. The game is about efficiency. And then you need your upgrade resources, in particular silicon. Which we've covered already. Okay, Dragon Mentor. Dragon Mentor is key free. So, as a robot, he can do some interesting things here by surrounding his geothermal plant. <clears throat> because robots have a special rule that say they get uh, adjacency on buildings that. I mean, this adjacency bonus, adjacent bonus, on buildings next to things that produce your inputs. And everything, almost, uses power as an input. So everything placed next to this geo plant will get the adjacency bonus. I'm not sure if free glass is the play, but he can afford it. So don't quote me on this part, because another one versus one player. But I think a one versus one, you don't always want the uh, triangles. Because you will kill the price too quickly. Oh wait, this was an electronics factory. This is fine. So he he can support this because he got a high and a medium silicon quarry. So he's bringing in even after those uh, consuming buildings, generating two silicon per second. This kills his power income though. Eight freighters needed to ship all the silicon. Cost me in 1.6 to 2.0 power per second. Yeah, in this position, I would probably look into getting this superconductor patent because he needs power for all the shipping. I guess I can get teleportation too. But there's some extra value for superconductor and geothermal borehole. And we get an issue 4 And a pirate? And there's the pattern lab, why not? Okay. And like the previous game, camp started half, so he'll be able to get some sheep patterns. So a pirate will stay until they have captured 200 resources. But also, you can remove it by placing a building on top of it. Uh, the building has to finish constructing. And a pirate will also only <clears throat> capture half of the cargo it's shooting at. So he was still getting aluminum. Or uh, water, I guess. Uh, water. Just half halved from each uh, freighter the Sold. pirate shot at. The patent lab is constructed. Let's get our science on. And lots and lots of glass. So he is overproducing glass here for sure. It looks profitable. But that's because he has a stockpile of 200. So if you sell his 200, that's what we would call the true price of glass. And... 
yeah, basically farms and reactors and power production would be all much, much better than this class. It's financial instruments, which is not going to do much this game, but it was cheap. And I like this getting the superconductor like we discussed. It won't be enough though, he needs more power. Like, it can go for Geo Borehole, uh, Energy Vault, which would solve his problems. Or it could wait until it's like 120, 130, if he wants to optimize. And then build solar panels. The reason you build it at the time is so that the construction finishes, the uh, construction finishing syncs up with the dawn. And solar panels only work during the day. Single wind turbine. Yeah. Looking at this HQ makes me sad. What's this patent lab gonna do? I wonder what he's thinking. Like previous game when Dragon Ranger get went to HQ2 patent, I could at least see some logic there, even though it was flawed. Okay, he left the game. <laughs> that was rough. Alright.